Initial investigation revealed that Budna was walking on a mandala extension when he was approached by a gunman from behind who fired several shots hitting its target. No? Budna was transported to the KHMH where he succumbed to his injuries minutes later. Police are investigating that matter. Sir, I don't want to dispute your facts, but um, the gentleman was unfortunately on the ground for a number of, of hours, at least an hour and a half, maybe two hours, because the police were... So, let's the, Daniel, uh, let's um, whether or not you were on the ground for five hours, we, the police, cannot uh, pronounce you clinically dead. Okay. You will. You can only be pronounced dead by a medical officer. So if you are transported one hour, two hours later, three hours later, only a medical officer can certify your death. Okay. Yeah. So um, more importantly, we've spoken to the family, and they are convinced that this gentleman was collateral damage and that he wasn't associated or, or linked to any sort of crime or, or uh, gang on the world activities. If they say that he's a hard-working man from San Pedro who came to the city. What are the investigators able to determine so far since Friday? Well, Daniel, I know that investigators also um, how to say, confirm what the family is saying, that his name has never shown up on the police radar for any kind of gang or criminal involvement. So that makes it a little more difficult for us to investigate. Um, one, we are trying to establish motive, and um, obviously this would want to seem like a random act of um, murder, no?